Okay, an MAFS 5 MBT 1.4. We're going to basically use place value understanding to round place. Now we're going to use a vertical line in order to do this. Now the first one, I'm going to say that what we want to do is we roll to the large, to the next whole number. Okay, the whole number would mean that there's no decimals, there's no fractions. So this is my nearest whole number. Now, whenever you're filling out this vertical line, you're going to start with the bottom digit. And we can see that we're wanting whole numbers. So whole numbers, where it's at right now, is 3. Now, for the top of our number line, we always want to put the next one. So this was 3, so the next one would have been 4. Now, right in the center, just like when you're skip counting, if I was a skip count, I would go by fives, I would go 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. If you notice in the center, there's always a 5. So in this case, instead of 5, it's going to be 3 5 tenths. Because that is exactly in between 3 and 4. Now, I'm going back to my number now, and I'm only looking at the tenths position. And I'm going to place a decimal where I think it would, excuse me, I'm just going to place a dot where I think it would be. And I since this is basically 3.4, I know that it would be approximately right here. And I don't have to use the other two digits because I'm only wanting to the tenth. And I can see since it is below 3.5, it'll be rounded to 3. Okay, this time, let's go ahead and round to the nearest tenth. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify what numbers we're going to put in our number line. If you notice, I put up here one tenth and one tenth. Now, since we're going to the tenth position, we can see that this is our tenth position. So that would always what goes on the very bottom of our number line. Now, we want to go one more tenth. Well, if this is three and four tenths, the top one will be three and five tenths. Now, I know right between these two, I got three and four. They can't be in between, but I know there has to be five hundredths between them. Now I come back to my original number, and I can see I'm rounding to the tenths position. So I know that I have to look all the way to the hundredths here. So when I come up here and I put three forty-two hundredths, I can see that it's below this line, so I would end up rounding it to three and four tenths. Okay, now let's do our last one where we're going to take it to the hundredths position. So this time I'm going to write it as to the three to the hundredths position. So I'm doing three and forty two hundredths. One more hundredths would be three and forty three hundredths. And right in the center, I'm always going to take my bottom number three and forty two but I have to add a 5 on it because that puts it right in the middle. Now I'm going to place this whole number, which happens to be about here, because this one here would be 3 and 426 thousandths. Now this time we can see that it's above, it's either on or above this center line. So we this time we would round to three and 43 hundredths.